Hey guys, so I haven't posted on my YouTube in a while, but I'm realizing that one issue I have that kind of like overarches all of the problems, problems that I have in life is that I have all these ideas, inspirations, things I want to do, but the hardest part is just the doing part. I have literally a list of like 20 things that I want to do each day, different paths, you know, whatever, like things I want to get done but I don't just do it. So I'm gonna make more of an effort on here just to show you, you know, the things I make, thoughts I have, whatever it might be, and see what you think. So for example, believe it or not, after my little rant, this is gonna be a cooking video. This recipe, if you even wanna call it that, I make every single day. I have certain things that I like to eat every day. Smoothie for breakfast usually, sometimes eggs, it depends. But then I always have, whether it's after workout because it's really high in protein or as a snack or dessert, whatever it might be, I find an excuse to get it every day, is this Greek yogurt bowl. All the ingredients are super cheap, easy to find. You can, you know, mix and match with based on whatever you already have. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. Alrighty, let's do it. I'm super hungry, so I'm excited. I was waiting to eat this until I made the video, <laughs> which is kind of frustrating. Anyways, so first things first, you need Greek yogurt. If you don't like dairy, sometimes I switch back and forth between Greek and they have a lot of non-dairy yogurts. But this one is just your typical Greek yogurt. I like it thick. This one's, I think, a Greek brand, Greek yogurt, go figure. Anyways, for not health reasons, just because like, I'm one of those people that when I start eating it, I can't stop, whether it's a bag of chips or a thing of ice cream, I like to like, portion it out sometimes not with everything like if I'm making oatmeal well oatmeal maybe I will but um if I'm making like a smoothie or chicken or something I won't portion it out but for something like Greek yogurt that I want to also last a while and not blow through it in like a week because I try to buy groceries once a week um <laughs> and then I'll have to go back again if I eat it too fast anyways long story short I measure it roughly so a serving is a cup and it has four servings in each one. So maybe I'll do, I'm about to have lunch. This is like my pre-lunch snack <laughs> appetizer. So maybe I'll do like three fourths of a cup. Anyways, rough, it's super thick. See, I'm not like super measuring it. It's all over the cup, but just in the ballpark. Also, I hate wasting any, everything, so I'm definitely gonna lick all this off. Uh, for time's sake, I'll do that after the video. Anyways, then I just add some fruit, whatever I might have. Right now I have blueberries, I also have some bananas, but I'm too lazy to cut them. And then I will do some almond butter, peanut butter. Speaking of not having self-control, um, I will eat this if I let myself, I will just sit and eat it. I'm also a bored eater, so if I'm home working like I am today, I'll just eat it consistently. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. Mm, gonna lick that spoon too. Add that. So good. Ever since I was a kid, you know how you have like, I feel like you can tell so much about a person as a child, but I was so obsessed with peanut butter. Like, I remember being a big cream cheese person for some reason. I'd get like a blueberry bagel toasted with peanut butter. And then when we went to France when I was a kid on a family trip, I guess they don't really have like nut butter over there. It's not really a thing. They have butter and like a lot of cheese, obviously. My parents <laughs> brought a jar of peanut butter with us. So there's that. You don't have to add this, but I like to add a little fiber. I feel like I don't get that much fiber in my diet. It's chia seeds. You can get stuff like this at Trader Joe's. It's actually not that expensive. Like a bag would probably be four or five bucks and last. I think I've had this for like six months. Then I love cinnamon, also optional. I like to add a lot. I'm all about the spices. Then I either add Cereal or granola, I'm a bit big on texture, so I need to have something crunchy in it, not just creamy. So I have like cereal, granola, sometimes I'll do both. Today I'm just feeling the cereal, because the granola is a little bit like heavier, the crunch is better. 
But since I am eating after this, well, after, after this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cereal. Then, that's it. I mean, I don't even think this would take five minutes. I think it's been three just because I'm talking a lot. But you just mix it together. And I also saw a tip from my friend. I've never done this before and I've been making these yogurt bowls for years. That if you put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour, it makes it more of like a cheesecake texture, which sounds really yummy. So I will grab my camera and show you guys what it looks like. It's not super pretty. You can make it look really pretty if you just have all the toppings on top, but I mixed it all together, so. And there you have it, my couple minute yogurt bowl. It's not the prettiest, but muy tasty. You can also add, so one cup of this Greek yogurt has 20 grams, 23 grams of protein. That's like a piece of chicken or something. Um, the dairy-free yogurt doesn't have as much protein, but you can also sometimes even in this one to add a little flavor, I'll add like vanilla or chocolate protein powder. So that helps a lot. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty good myself, but yeah, let me know what other videos you'd like to see, whether that's other recipes, thoughts, feelings, clothing hauls, other stuff, you know, you've seen on YouTube that you've liked or that you haven't seen and you would like to see. Anyways, enjoy. It's healthy, delicious, nutritious. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Cheers.